Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to celebrate because The Domestic Geek has reached 250,000 subscribers. I cannot tell you how grateful I am to all of you for the love and support you have shown the channel. It has been absolutely incredible. And in honor of this momentous occasion, I wanted to share with you one of my very favorite recipes, French crepes. And in true Domestic Geek fashion, I'm gonna show them to you three delicious ways. We are going to make a savory herb crepe, a beautiful vanilla peaches and cream crepe, and finally, a chocolate hazelnut strawberry crepe worthy of any celebration. So I'm gonna get started today by showing you my classic crepe recipe, which I'm mixing up in my blender. Now, if you don't have a blender, don't sweat it. You could totally do this by hand, but I just find it makes for a really smooth crepe batter. So in my blender, I am combining two eggs with some milk, some water, some melted butter, and a cup of flour. We're gonna mix this all up really, really well, and then we're going to strain it into a measuring cup. It's important to strain your crepe batter to make sure there are no lumps in it. Lumps will only ruin your final product. Once your batter's ready, it's time to head to the stove. So we're just melting a little bit of butter over medium high heat, and we're going to pour our crepe batter in, tilting the pan as we go. I'm using this handy dandy crepe pan, but you could totally use just a regular frying pan if that's all you have on hand. I really recommend non-stick though, because crepes do tend to be a bit fickle. What you're looking for is a nice, smooth, even crepe. You're going to cook your crepe for one to two minutes or until the edges start getting crispy and pulling away from the sides. Now, flipping a crepe can be intimidating to any new cook. The secret is to use a silicone spatula, slide it underneath your crepe until you hit the center, and then use it to propel it over. Now, if your first crepe turns out to be a disaster, don't sweat it, that happens to everyone. You totally will get the hang of it as you go through the motions. You're gonna cook your crepe for an additional 20 to 30 seconds, and then you can just stack them as you make them on a plate. You can also leave this in the oven to keep them warm while you're making your next batch. You can serve these classic crepes with a little bit of jam or some maple syrup, or I like them with just a little bit of powdered sugar. Now that we've conquered our classic crepe recipe, it is time to kick things up a notch by adding a whole lot of flavor. And we're going to start with our savory herbs crepe. So in my blender, I've got my standard crepe recipe standing by, and to that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, some pepper, and some fresh parsley and chives. We're gonna give this a really good blend, and to the stove we go. Once your crepes are ready, it's time to stuff them with a whole lot of awesome. In this case, I am using some Swiss cheese, some sliced ham, and some roasted asparagus. Next up, I'm gonna show you my delicious peaches and cream dessert crepes. So I'm starting with my standard batter in my blender, and to that I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of sugar and some good vanilla extract. Now that we have a stack of these beautiful crepes made, it's time to turn our attention to our peaches. So in my frying pan, I've got some butter heating up, and to that I'm going to add some peaches, a little bit of brown sugar, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. We're gonna cook these up for a few minutes until the peaches are softened and all the sugar is dissolved. Once our peaches are ready, we are going to stuff our crepes and then top them with a heaping helping of homemade whipped cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon. How's that for a celebration? Finally, I'm going to show you my chocolate hazelnut strawberry crepes. These are basically outrageous. So to our standard recipe, we are going to add a couple tablespoons of sugar and a few tablespoons of cocoa powder to make some beautiful chocolate crepes. Once our crepes are ready, we are going to stuff them with some Nutella spread, a couple scoops of vanilla ice cream, and some fresh strawberries. We're gonna finish them off with a little chocolate drizzle and I would call this celebration complete. I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And thank you again for all of the love and support you've shown for the Domestic Geek so far. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't so we can celebrate a brand new milestone soon.